All right. Uh, let me fix the settings here. I'm testing new settings for the game, uh, for the stream as well, to see if I can get more performance so it's not as pixelated and stuff. All right. Let me know if this uh, looks better than before. As we get into the game, that is. The fan's not much. What's up, Mac Daddy Death Jam? All right, um, should we just YOLO it to Nuka World? Feeling, feeling frisky. Uh, Nuka World, somewhere down here. Uh, I forgot where Nuka World is, actually. Okay, it's over here? Uh, no. It's over here. Closer than I thought, actually, since we're we got Great Garden already. What's up, Dominic? Cool. Glad it's looking good. Looking better than last time as far as tearing pixels and stuff. I guess we'll have to see when I get in action. Yeah, chat's still being stupid. About that, hi Donna. Really, that's good to hear. It looks a little choppy when I'm watching it on YouTube. Um, I mean, DLCs are part of it. It actually looks like the frame rate's not great. It looks like more choppy. Maybe because I increased the quality, it decreased the frame rate. I don't know if you guys are seeing that. Let's see. Oh, you know what? My streaming thing. Oh, there it is. Ooh, that actually does look pretty nice. Okay, we're at ArcJet Systems. That does look pretty good, actually. Geez, you guys really don't complain much about it. I was wondering, maybe that's why some people just hop in and then leave. They go, oh man, that quality's really bad. It used to be a big problem um, when I lived in Korea and I would stream because I, I couldn't get good internet where I was at. But I just don't think I've updated the settings since then, so. Different place. Okay. Off to Nuka World we go. I should probably also have more clever names for the title instead of just perfect place. Oh my god, I'm going to Nuka World. Wish me luck. I'm gonna die. Very hard difficulty. Oh, so epic.
So, speaking of that, it should work on Commando, actually. <laughs> For two reasons. I think the first gun I'm going to get is... Well, besides this one, which works off Commando, but I'm also probably going to get the Splatter Gun, or whatever the other one's called, the Pack one. Rob Nuka World, Attorney at Law. What's up, Nate? Hey, Mac. Kayo, how's it going? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I think I'm getting there. There we go. Alright, this part's hard. There's a, a Saltron Dominator out here or whatever, so... This might be a little sketch. a hard save here in case I just completely scuff this. Is Fallout 3 and Fallout 4 the same? They're slightly different. Yes, Dominatrix. They're slightly different. One um, is three quarters of the other one. The other one is four thirds of the previous one. They have a little conversation out here, right? I have chameleon on something. Now pick up the pace. I want to be able to report back to Cypress ASAP. One way to do it. Well, the Saltron is the big problem. Gorgeous. Need to put Rataways on my bar. I usually put them in nine. You killed my robot, I kill yours. Taco Bell. My wife, uh doesn't like Taco Bell, so I only get to have it when we're eating, when she's eating out somewhere else, and like when she's with friends or whatever, then I can have Taco Bell. Yeah, I think we're fine. There was a lot of uh, guns and stuff going on there, huh? Hello? Oh, wait, we still got more? Oh, it's the commander! Okay, he's got a skull. She's got a skull. Hello? Chicken quesadillas, bean burritos, all good, man. I miss the Crunchwrap Supreme. Do they still sell that? I think it's like seasonal now. Jeez. Come on, I'm trying to kill your boss. Nobody likes their boss. Haven't you seen that movie Horrible Bosses? They're trying to kill their own bosses. I may need to buy more ammo after this just to be safe. I'm using a lot. Need some grenades, that'd be nice. 
This is the precursor to the gunner farm. Jesus. Okay. Is that it? We, we made it. <laughs> we made it, boys. Boys and goyles. Dan and Dan? Like spy? Yes, exactly. Hello, Dan. Let's go buy some more ammo, and then we'll head out. Survival players, you jealous? I can just go back to town real fast and reload and then go again? You don't even have anywhere to save here. Uh, there's a bed inside the building to the right. The lonely church has a sleeping bag on the floor. Actually, Mr. Streamer, Wrecked nerds. I really enjoy debating myself. Red herring I can always defeat. Yeah. So much care for good neighbor. That place is nothing but trouble. Hey. I don't think his inventory is reloaded yet. Let's trade. Come on, there we have. It is not okay. Do I hope Starfield has something similar to? I'm just looking for love, sweetheart. Um, do I hope Starfield has something similar to Vats? Not really. I think honestly, I, I use Vats as a crutch too much. So, you know, when I play Skyrim, it's kind of nice to not have vats to depend on. Toilet seat build engaged. Porcelain beauty. Hey there. You looking to trade? Smiling Larry's got what. Mm hmm. Let's trade. Smiling Larry had. 591. That is awesome. You rock, dude. And it's almost all of them, 25 something. Let's get some more what do you need fixing, up? fixing up here. I need some supplies, doctor. Let's see what I can spare. Doctor, doctor, give me the news. I got a bad case loving you. Whatever. I think that's enough. All right, guys, we ready for this? We ready for the journey? Do I have anything else to drop off, though? It's weighing me down. Oh, that stuff's all important. I don't want to put Aiden there. Uh, let's see. Looking... Like a general before even getting to the castle. Exactly. I should keep some jet and some psycho just in case things go south at any point. Medex probably too, actually. Medex is strong. Okay. I don't use enough drugs. 
because I attended the D.A.R.E. program in elementary school. Word of another settlement needing help will mark it on your map. I got you, Preston. Preston Gravy. Ew, floating, a floating hand. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to be doing the quests here other than getting in. I'm just using this to access uh, loot locking so I can farm gear, farm uh, explosive minigun, which can lead to the gunner farm, and also probably for a few levels before I get the gunner farm. I think this guy's lying. Let me help you. No, no. I'm offering you a way. Look, you got me. I ain't injured, okay? I just can't. They lure people in and kill them for fun and. Right. Let me help. Are you. Here, take this. It's the password to the mod. Fastest way to get to Nuka World. Makes it more believable if I say I'm trying. Find the control terminal in the office and power it back up. Uh huh. make an updated perfect playthrough. That's what I'm doing right now, man. Kinda. I don't really, honestly, I don't really think there is a perfect playthrough. Other than getting the level four merchants. Once you have the level four merchants, you can kind of do what Nuka you want. Nuka World's great Halloween spooktacular will begin next week. Reserve your tickets for this nighttime event. That's loud. Hold on. At the main box office. Make sure my mic doesn't pick that up. All right. Recommended for 30 plus. Uh oh, what, where am I at? Not 30. Por favor, mantegaje. Mantegaje. I don't know that word actually, but I'm thinking it means hold or grab. Because man is the mono, like hand. Gotta get your tickets to this nighttime event. Hello. And on behalf of the Nuka Cola Corporation, we'd like to welcome each and every one of you aboard the Nuka Express Monorail. Yes, the Halloween bash. Halloween Havoc. WCW 1997 Halloween Havoc. They did the mash. They did the monster mash. It was a smash. It was a graveyard smash. Uh, difficulty's very hard. Very hard. The only way I really play anymore. It's funny when I would see, like, build guides and they're clearly doing it on easy or very easy. Just wrecking everything. Look how strong this build is.
True survival bi viable. I want very hard viable bills. Attention all my favorite undesirables out there. We have noticed we got ourselves some fresh meat to run the top. Alright, I don't remember this gauntlet at all. I'm gonna die a lot. This, like... More? Backup weapon, so if I get attacked at close range, I might blow myself up. I don't know. I know how the New Vegas playthrough uh, starts. It starts with a run to uh, a run to the New Vegas clinic, so you can get the uh, cybernetics put in. Oh, what are you? How did that happen? Whatever. Did I bring Rad X and Rad Away? Did okay, good. Cause there's a Rad room area, I think. Right now, maybe I should use it right now. Oh my goodness! Can I angle to this one? Hi, Tom. Save your dad or the brotherhood? I don't know. It's decision time. All doors lead to death. Some just a little slower than others. Here's the room with a bunch of rads. Um, there, did I? I think I just grabbed keys. I don't know. Locks really strong. Ah, uh, where's the key? Um, it's over here somewhere. There it is. Okay. Won't be able to pick this. Someone thinks he's a real tough guy, but the gossip is ruined yet. Easy money. Uh, the plan today is, oh, hey, Sir Lucky, uh, just saw your long neck, long neck video. This is the long neck video. You mean the, the long neck Lukowski, how, the bottling plant, how to finish it without killing the guy? Uh, plan today is get through the intro to Nuka World, then...
Then, um, once you get through that, then we're going to do some loot locking and try to get some gear. Hopefully get an explosive minigun, hopefully get an explosive combat shotgun, hopefully get some kind of sniper, two-shot or instigating Goss rifle. Hopefully get some gear, some nice pieces of gear. That'd be cool. What? No way I can kick this. Pointing here, what did I miss? Another key somewhere? Uh, boy. Hopefully start working on an unyielding set and then working on a Maybe a smart set. Unyielding would be cool. We could go right into junkies, right into masochist. How do I get through here? Oh, cool. Glad to hear it, Sir Lucky. Uh, that is the uh, symbol for efficiency, man. And I am not being efficient right now. Not remember all of the cable. Oh, that's just turret control system. These monitors always freak me out. Not not free. Deck. Uh, tail, not tail. Could be not. Be pack. Got it. That just turret control. Well, I'm, I'm glad that helped you, uh, Sir Lucky. However, I won't be doing that quest in this playthrough because it bugs out the trader Riley, who is the trader sitting outside that can be recruited. She's the best trader in the game, in my humblest of opinions. What is going on here? Isn't this supposed to open or something when you kill everything? Did I bug it out by killing everything? Yeah, I agree with you. Like, I thought this was just supposed to open up by itself. Hello? I don't remember there being a we. Oh, yeah, there's a cooking thing. Oh my god, survival players. There's a sleeping bag, survival players, rejoice. E behind monkey, did I blow it up when I, <laughs> when I shot everything with explosive stuff? Oh, it's right on top of here, I'm an idiot, okay. I got the... Where's the danger? I'm in danger. Uh, who were the ones with the Always Sunny scene yesterday? I looked it up. I had seen that before, but I have totally forgot about it. So I started blasting. Anyway, I started blasting. Private Tyler, poor Private Tyler. He made it so far. What's up, Wolfpack? Who made these toys? Who would make an animatronic that can actually shoot at you? Sickos. Who are these people? Oh. Um, I got completely turned around. Looks like I already came through here. By all the explosions. Thought it was this way. Okay, this way, then up. Then down, then around. Oh, oh, no, that's the radiation way. Around this way. Okay, there we go. 
Okay, okay, we got it. What? Blew my own arms up? I was disarmed. I'll see myself out. Oh, I missed a fusion core? I don't care. Oh no, what got me? One of the mini explosions? The good thing is when you quick load, the explosions are gone magically. That's a really weird bug. Can't do that. Uh, oh my god, that was a poorly timed quick save. I might be in trouble. This place just slowly kills you. you. Gotta find the key. Here. Go here. And then we got enemies in here as well, like a rat or something. Oh, a rat roach, legendary. Oh, I wonder if I can loot lock them. Hunting. Whatever. Another legendary, okay. Uh, we got a key, but we didn't get the password. Get to listen to my guy cough the whole time. There it is. Oh no! Maybe I should melee there. Uh, usually in my run, I secure the settlement near Trader Riley location, disarm the woman, and make her follow me. <laughs> That's pretty smart. Uh, using good looks is the only way without the water gun. Uh, yeah, Donna, it's not really worth it. It is possible, but not for me right now, for sure, because I'm not geared for it. But you can out damage it. I think an explosive minigun probably could do it, could take him out. I'm not sure though. I think you can out damage his healing. It's just very hard. I thought I was at the end, actually. Forgot about this area. 
Yeah, the last time I came here, I was trying to do a level one, a uh, very hard run after I saw people do it on survival. It just wasn't happening. I actually did get to the end, but the uh, guy just one shots me and I Got cannot it. get enough damage on him. Can't open it from this end. Get out of my way, Codsworth. Uh, yeah, Eternus. Yeah, not right away though. I probably won't come back here for quite some. Oh, quite some time. Now I got all mixed up again. There go. Thank you, arrows. Ugh. Jerk. Could these guys be legendary? I don't think these guys are worth fighting at this point. Okay, this fight's going to be interesting. I don't know if I'm going to do well or not. I don't know if my damage is going to be sufficient. Um, I'm going to use a lot of drugs, though. We'll see how it goes. That's pretty cool, yeah. I like Maxon's uh, Gatling laser better. Rapid one. But I get a lot of people when I do my legendary farming videos, they'll be in chat going, I farm the uh, explosive Gatling laser, it's the best. It would be the best if you didn't uh, cheat and lie to me, to my face. Oh, you mean the Eternus, if you give it to a companion, that defeats the purpose? Talk to him some more. Yes, so, who is this? I'm the guy that's gonna get you out of this alive. Two mini nukes. Let's throw them at him. All right. My God. Look. Damn. I would. You want? Him? I already grabbed. Got it. Yeah, yeah, I know what it looks like. You're... This isn't gonna... Trust, once the water hits, uh -huh. it'll kill his defenses. Consider it done. That's what... All right. Uh-huh. Um, let's level up. Grab another rank of commando. Hard save. Disciples, are you ready for blood? And the pack, are you ready for blood? I'm level twenty two now, actually.
What the heck was I worried about? What was I worried about, guys? What was I freaking out for? Oh my god, he's so scary! Alright, take care, Nate. That's probably a good idea. me down. There we go. Those gains, yep. Yeah, that was uh, a lot easier than I anticipated. I think farming legendary is going to be a little rough. He survived the gun. He was smart enough to take my advice and strong enough to kill Colton. He's what we need. How about we show some respect for our new leader, eh? He'll get respect when he earns respect. Amen. I'm not sure if the this weapon's going to be better or if um All right, all right. Now probably the problem solver better what did I tell you although the issue is you got to do it from stealth I might not have a weapon for this I might have to go back and get the like maybe overseer's guardian or something and, and equip it as a sniper rifle isn't there something instigating right off the bat that I can buy from somewhere <laughs> and what do you know I mm -hmm. taking out colder was now that he's at all I'm at I need to be able to kill, when I'm doing the legendary farm, I need to be able to kill a raider without attracting attention of the other raiders. Let's just say, good, right? There are three, and yeah, thanks to Cole. I think you're right. What is the charisma glitch? Sounds like fun. Probably not. That's the spirit. Better's always good, yeah. Meet me at the just let me get that. Overseer's Guardian's not bad. But that one doesn't have instigating, that's two shot. Hmm. Gage, let's keep the conversating between us, okay? Overbox. Overbox. Road slicer, I mean. I can sneak attack, but I need rank two ninja for that to work. I don't know. Let's see how it goes. I do have a silencer on this. I, <laughs> I don't know how much that's going to matter when I'm starting to blast. Anyway, I started blasting. Wait, carrying too much? Oh, because something wore off. Alright, drop something. Oh, I don't need multiple. Why would I need multiple? You haven't seen any 
anything that's, um, out of the ordinary around here, have you? Sure, we carry guns. Damn Nuka Cola song stuck in my head again. Yeah, Splatter Cannon might do more damage. Junkie's pipe rifle. Ugh. I think I'm supposed to talk to him outside, right? Or just Junkie's pipe. There we go. <laughs> Junkie's pipe wrench. Oh, I almost got squished. How the heck did you beat me here? The digs are yours now. Everything you uh huh. I sure do like the sound. I look, sure. Uh -huh. My talent. I hear you, gig. Good. Let right. you. We have bugs and uh -huh. the gang has got rep. I can fix this. Yeah. Oh, you give your provisioners a bunch of uh, problem solvers. Have any advice for? Yeah. All right. The operate the pack. Don't worry. Every yeah. Look, uh -huh. just... Okay. Let's... All right. You just need. I'll be here. So I'll finish this quest so I can get the uh, problem solver. Oh, let's uh, drop this stuff off first. Yeah. Junkies does do quite a lot of damage. Wouldn't be bad to start thinking about junky stuff as well. Sick platforming. Sorry about that. Hey. So, drink some water. 
Yes, you can still finish the quest line with the Minutemen. You survived. So sure. You're the over mm -hmm. if Gage Is that good? Everyone knows we all, but whatever. I don't know if that's good. Let's get this meet and greet over with. I'm Nisha. I lead the Hey Ars. Glad you caught it. And that's keeping the peace of this alliance. Otherwise, the way we see it, this world stopped caring about rules the moment people started dropping. I bet you guys are great at parties. Side with us? Sure. We got told. Although, I, of course, it was... That thing? You should... Danger? Let's... He made it worse. Right. I'm the best... Willing to keep... We are... Fuck. But... But I don't make promises. Looks like you're already a step above Coulter. Uh -huh. But if you change your tune, mm -hmm. there's no shortage of work. Rem's tooth is cool. Come across any herbologist crazies? Just ignore them. Tell those freaks to stick to their camp. That last one died too fast. Things are boring as hell since Nisha made us team up. Maybe put a fancy beat down on that. I was out of shorts because she didn't want to hit me up. I don't really want to go seeking out weapons too aggressively. All I really have to do is get one decent weapon, and then I can use that to farm after that. So, I mean, this weapon's the decent. Or ice the vault dweller. Hmm. You can go. Well, I suppose we all owe you for putting down Coulter. Man was an idiot. It has all looked bad. <laughs> A clown stuck in his. I guess. Uh -huh. I want to know. Uh huh. Regret you agree. Regard, I suppose. I'm mad. This pleasure, along with our co conspirator Lizzie, you'll come to understand soon enough that we are the only. I don't want to, Mod Hunter. I want to be able to have uh, raider settlements because they're cooler. Happiness? No, mm -hmm. we only joined. The Never do open season instead. And that, and that you. My goal is to use. Well, it's up. So, oh, Codsworth, you jerk. Uh -huh. Exactly, Dominic. You can even, um, apparently you can do the entire Nuka world before even talking to Preston in Concord. That way you can finish all the quests before open season. Oh, I think in order to make Preston happy with you and still finish Nuka world, you have to do it before you initially talk to him. Otherwise, even if you do open season, he still is not happy with you. Or maybe I'm wrong. Oh, no, no, sorry. You can't do open season after... Uh, after you finish Nuka World. You have to do it before you give up uh, any of your settlements. Something like that. Yes, you can. But don't you have to... Uh, I thought that there was no way to get Eternus and do open season. I guess I don't know enough about it. I don't think Codsworth's gonna like this line of dialogue. Exactly. Most can handle the own shit without bothering. You need help finding your place here? No. No. I can handle it. There's plenty of collars in the kennels if you can. The pack lets it all hang out. Now that I get a closer look at you, I'm not sure I'm. Yeah, I thought that there was no way to both get Preston happy with you and complete the entire DLC unless you wait to talk to Preston until after the DLC is complete. 
And then he has some special dialogue. <laughs> you might name's mate. This here's out. Right. You might be over as long as you don't. Uh-huh. I'm not here to make it. I think we can all uh -huh. look, it ain't like it. Just figured on it. But Gage says you don't want to be if I thought the other gangs would go along, yeah. At least it ain't mad. Besides. Coulter? Been wondering that. Don't get me wrong. And things were good, but that was easy. I think you're a careful there. We ain't ungrateful. Sure, this place mm -hmm. ain't none of us. Things mm -hmm. were going to hell fast. So what's the case? Hey, you know what I've heard. Sure. The story is. Maybe he likes to uh -huh. after Coulter went. And you did. Uh -huh. Might have been the whole. I'm not Coulter. Yeah, sure. We totally will. Be. Look, let's cut. Uh -huh. I hear you've been. Be a good dog and be a Oh, there, boss. Not in front of my guy. You got enough to work. Uh -huh. You know what? I want you to have. Problem solver. One last. There's always work. Right. If you're ever able. Loyalty. All right, now I can return to Gage. I can even pick up Gage as a companion, which is probably better right now than Codsworth. Uh, Ninth Infantry, it's mostly about um, not missing certain things, like the, the level four merchants are very easily missable, so there's a strategy you can use to recruit them. Uh, otherwise, you could miss them and then not get them. It's just making sure you don't miss out on stuff, essentially. Uh, setting up your base perfectly so that you have all the merchants, setting up a, a farm for experience, setting up an infinite cap supply through water purifying. And so you, you have a source of infinite experience, infinite caps, and you have all the merchants. Oh, cool. Let's go, problem solver. All right, good night, myth. And we're going to do a little loot locking. Yes, Mod Hunter, we actually got the merchants yesterday, four of them. I didn't do, I only did the random ones. I don't really, the other ones you can get any time because they're not going to be broken, right? So uh, I got Smiling Larry, I got the Scribe, I got uh, Ron Staples, and I got Doc Anderson. And now we're getting a uh, legendary farming loop set up so that we can come back and farm legendary items whenever we want. That's why we rush Nuka World. The overboss returned. Well, you're back in one. Everything. Uh -huh. Sure, I hope you didn't promise. I mean, all the gangs? Uh, Todd, uh -huh. This place is huge. We need to take them all. You stay because who gets what? It's going to feel good. Yeah. So that's it. And hey. So another thing I can do is I don't necessarily have to kill all these like allied ones. I can still just do legendary and experience farming just by helping them with the quest. And I can still pick up legendaries from that. And then at least I'm still cycling legendaries and I'm getting experience. If that makes sense. Um, survival, apparently you can loot lock here on survival. I'm going to test it when I do a survival playthrough at 10,000 subs. Be sure to subscribe if you're interested in seeing me torture myself with a survival run. Easy fallout, what's up? I'll test out some methods once I play survival. Okay. So let's get the loop going. I think I can just approach from this side first. Um, I'm just going to do the loop a few times to cycle some legendary prefixes and see what we get and also kind of see uh, how we're doing on damage. Need to get over here to start. It's funny, you can actually loot lock the uh, other spawn point as well. The, the tower is just a bit harder and 
the distance is quite far, actually. You have to do it from very far away. The cell loads in from pretty far away. Am I even going the right way? What am I doing? I literally put a marker for myself. I'm still going the wrong way. Thank you, Easy. Uh, yeah, my very first video on this channel was this method, and then my upgraded version of it, like the advanced loot locking, um, that one was uh, probably one of the better videos that I've done on my channel, I would say, explaining the strategies and everything. I do enjoy loot locking. It, it reminds me of like shiny hunting in Pokemon. You're trying to find a specific thing and you're, you're using, you're giving yourself an edge to maximize the odds, right? But it still is hard. Okay, so we're clear here. I have to clear out the ghoul up here. He's super annoying. Oh, there's another ghoul. Uh, another ghoul. They spawn in? Something spawned. What is oh, Gage was shooting. Okay. For some reason, I forgot that I had Gage. Uh, there's some danger still. Herba? What else is attacking? I don't even know. There's a big... Okay, so this is the place... Oh, gosh. Okay. This is the place where you can sleep. If you're on survival, you can just do this loop, and you sleep up here. Oh, my gosh. I'm trying to hit his legs. There we go. I'm still standing even after all the years. And you get a nice, uh, whoa, is this one level? Did I screw this up? Did I miss out on my X01 armor there? Whatever. Nobody cares. All right, so if you want to loot lock this one, you kind of see when it, I don't have a scope, so I can't really do a good job here, but You'll see, like, the skeleton of it, and then you'll see things load in, and that's when you need to get your save set up. It should be loaded in. Now it's loaded in. Oh, I'm about to run into a behemoth, I think. Welcome back, Myth. I thought you are going to bed. Saw the video until Jen pulled me away, then jumped on. Ooh, okay. King Gath. Nice. I like King Gath. I like uh, his mod. It's so good. Uh, I mean, everything's harder here. Okay, so we got a legendary super mutant. So we can help with the super mutants, although I'm kind of worried about... About uh, the explosive effect on this. Uh, I just wanted to touch him so I could experience. Get experience. I guess you have to do a percentage of damage, huh? Oh my god, he's got a minigun! 
This is gonna be rough. <laughs> I have never come here at this low level. Okay, so we got a sentinel's right leg. Ah! I think I need a silence ranged weapon that I can at least put some damage on the enemies with. Look at that minigun just going to town. It's not gonna go well. Okay. Disciples knife. Weapon. Nothing cool there, though. So, okay, 7.62 round. Nice. I need a lot of 7.62 rounds. Gun. Broken femur. What ebbs? Let's go. Use the problem solver. Yeah, that won't explode at least. Look at this. It's lower damage. I think Spray and Prey is going to be more damaging right now. Oh my god, it's a Death Claw. And this Death Claw is a lot harder than the, <laughs> than the normal ones as well. That wasn't too bad. And then sometimes one of these corpses is a legendary corpse, but they always have stuff on them, so that's nice. Look at that, 7.62. Furry undergarments, ooh. All right. Good. Gator claws. Uh, you can turn a pipe. Yeah, I mean, if you cheat, you can. Sure. I've seen the video where the guy uses glitches to get a mini nuke launcher on his pipe pistol. Yeah, why? Nobody likes you, man. Nobody likes you, yeah, why? All right. Now I forgot how to do this. Here, I think it's this one. Save. Run down here. I can't remember if I count or something. Another save. And then instant quick save. I forgot. <laughs> I, I gotta watch my own guide. I forgot how to do it. I got one legendary pack. Combat shotgun. I don't think I have explosive, but I don't think I did the boot lock right anyway. Take care, ours. Is 
anyone have a video guide on how to do this loot lock here? Got the same legendary. It's good. subs Fallout 4 tutorial I don't have a lot to add to Fallout 4 I've done a lot try I'm hoping that uh we did loot lock what? I don't think explosives are going to be on the table, but we actually loot locked this successfully on accident. The problem is the farming is slow because it takes me so long to kill this guy. I mean, I'll try problem solver. Uh, the other issue actually is silenced. I don't want... So, you can get away with killing some of these guys, but eventually they'll get mad at you. Like, if, if you're detected when you kill them. So, if I kill this guy in the back, well... Dead eye. How do I have so much forty-five ammo? I've just been buying it from my vendors. I've been I've been thinking about it since I started the game. Essentially, every chance I had to buy forty-five ammo, I did. Smiling Larry sells two hundred fifty forty-five ammo each time. Check the loot before you start the shooting. How do you check the loot before you start the shooting? Anyway, I started blasting. Staggering's all right. I'm not going to try this for too long, but obviously getting an explosive combat shotgun would be really, really good. The problem is uh, I already got an explosive weapon, so it's not likely to be available. Oh, pickpocket. That would be nice. Uh, in the creation club... They have a remote pickpocket thing. Actually, Mr. Steve. He's Louise. Uh, where'd his corpse go? His corpse was there and now it's gone. Where did your corpse go? Hello? Did you guys see that his corpse literally just disintegrated into nothing? Parts of it or anything? This is dumb. Literally, he the car blew up and his corpse just vanished from the earth. 
Didn't see you get launched up in the air or anything. Okay. Well, I guess I can't check that one. Yeah, open actor container. Uh-oh. Yeah. So the problem solver creates its own problem of needing a lot of ammo. What's up, Ian? Alright, see you, Dominic. I appreciate that they just think it's an accident. I'll check maybe 10 more times and see, because uh, the like chances are low, but the reward is so high that it's worthwhile. If that makes sense. Oh no! Gage! Another staggering. Getting a uh, explosive combat shotgun. I guess wounding would also be good. Like if I get if I can't get explosive but I can get wounding, I'm, I'm okay with that as well. A uh, myth. If it's anything with duping, I don't do it. I don't I don't do any glitches. <laughs> e capper, eh, yeah, maybe. I'm just looking for damage, though. I need damage. This damage is okay, but I need serious damage. Super serial. Of course, I did my quick save when I had no stamina. Terminators. I know, I know, Myth. I know the exact one. It's just, I have no interest in duping at all. The game gives you plenty of ways to do, you know, legitimately get stuff. So uh, for me, duping would ruin my experience, I think. I mean, it's obviously everyone's free to play how they want and enjoy the game how they want. It's just not how I would personally enjoy the game. Makes sense. Eh, wrong shotgun. Well, we know never endings available, so what could we get with that? I mean, double barrels too high, too low level for this, so I won't see a double barrel. Gatling. No, it won't roll on a Gatling. I think the only never-ending Gatling you can get is a Turnus. Not never-ending combat shotgun. It's got a big enough magazine that it's not really worthwhile. Oh, the pack is against me. Uh-oh. Uh, so if this is the one, then actually I'm not going to be able to keep it. 
Made him mad. I don't want to make him mad. <laughs> oh, I ruined it. But Junkies is available. That's good to know. If I can get like a Junkies Goss rifle. Oh, yeah. See, Porter Gage is about to leave. Uh, I, I made everyone mad. I, again, I can get 10 in all special stats without the special books. Why do I need the special books? For that. Why do I need to dupe them? Uh, open season is not an option. It's still worth it, Mod Hunter. Even with all the penalties, the damage is so high. Especially once you get your stats naturally to 11, the, it doesn't hurt you nearly as bad. Where the heck is the legendary guy? Oh, it's a legendary cave cricket. Is that loot locked? All right. All right, we got a fat man. Where the heck is the uh, legendary one? There he is, okay. Shh. Oh my God, I made him mad again. This is just gonna be tough to do, I think. Okay, two shots an option. Now, is two shot good on combat shotgun? I'm gonna ask chat this. This is a, this is a chat trivia question. Is two shot combat shotgun any good at all? If so, why? If not, why? Trivia time. Mod Hunter says no. Garbage. Mango says no. QB Blood says no. No explanations. Don't know. Wolfpack is honest. Don't know. Okay, but we know a lot now. We know two shots available. We know junkies available. But two shot everything else is good. Not everything else. Relentless? No. Because 8 plus 1 equals 9. Mod Hunter did the math. Yes. Or 8 versus 7. I don't know which one's accurate. But yes, essentially, um, it only adds one more pellet. It doesn't double the pellets that come out of a shotgun. It only adds one more. Since um, shotguns fire pellets out, it just adds one more to the to each bullet or each yeah trigger squeeze, essentially. I have the smartest chat in the world. I get that one a lot too. People are like, oh man, I got a two two shot combat shotgun. I'm I'm set. Does so much damage. Well, combat shotguns do a lot of damage. Maybe that's what you're experiencing. Ah, oh, he's upset at me. I think if you blow up the car, that's like instant upsetness. Kneecapper. Okay, so kneecapper's there. Any proof against it? Uh, what kind of build are you going for in this run, Mango? I'm not sure. I'm, I'm feeling like I might do a uh, full-on masochist build. 
I haven't done my masochist build in a really long time. So, full junkies, full, uh, whatchamacallit, whatchamacallit, full unyielding, go crazy with it, have some fun. So sometimes I kill these guys off just to get rid of the witnesses, you know? They can stay hidden. Okay, well that didn't work. Yeah, this is really tough, guys. Right now it's tough. Plasma Infused. That's actually not terrible because it adds 10 points on all of them. It's just not as good as Explosive or Wounding. That's a good one, QB. Uh, we are working on explosive minigun as well. But before I can do anything, I need to be able to do this farm quickly, if that makes sense. So if I can get a wounding combat shotgun, I think I can do this farm. Like disappears. Look at me, please. Look at me. Scavengers must feel very happy, like, hey, somebody's looking out for us. Okay, Junkie's Combat Shotgun. Maybe I can... I don't want to roll with Junkie's Combat Shotgun, really. I'd rather get a Junkie's... Inst uh, like, a, a, a Junkie's uh, Goss Rifle. Last stream was good. Everything was good, man. I, I'm not complaining about anything. Yeah. Well, I don't know how I'm going to build the masochist. We'll see. <laughs> really, I need a weapon to start with. Um, if I get a weapon, then I can go farm all the junkies stuff that I need. Um, at least most of it. Even without unyielding, the junkies itself is the damage source. I don't think I'm going to get a good combat shotgun, though. I just think wounding is going to be able to get me there, possibly. Where the heck are the legendaries? There he is. I think I'm gonna die. Not working well. <laughs> thank, thank you, Myth. I'm not that concerned about it. I don't put a lot of self-worth on my uh, success on my YouTube. It's just fun to do. I'm doing my first vanilla melee run. Um, I mean, my favorite is, are you going to use stealth? Or are you going to use ninja? If you're not doing ninja, well, the baseball bat that's sold um, in Diamond City is really good as a starting weapon. Uh, otherwise, and then when you start doing stealth, Pikmin's Blade is really good. Stealth and ninja. Pikmin's Blade has the wounding effect. It's great. On. Wow, 
plasma infused again. Yeah, I hope I get 10k soon so you can force I can torture myself with a survival run. I don't think chat's been dead, Myth. I, chat's been good. Chat's only dead when I play uh, Elden Ring, then chat's dead. Or Path of Exile. The only one who hangs out is Ian. It'd be fun to play Elden Ring right now. Whatever. little chunk come on quick draw I'm about to give up on this Ian loves Elden Ring Ian I was trying to do an RL1 run and I'm stuck on Radon I don't have I just can't get his combos down I'm about to give up on the uh, combat shotgun here. I might try to go for a sniper rifle of some kind. Since I know Junkies is available, um, we could try to get a Goss rifle or something decent. Gauss rifle would be good. Come on, jerk. He's not happy. Okay, I'm going to give up on this and I'm going to uh, reload this save. And I'm going to hope that I have the uh, advanced loot lock method going here. Quick save. Let's go. Uh, Tristan's here. Funny that you mentioned Elden Ring in the middle of a Convergence mod playthrough. Convergence mod looked really cool, actually. You don't have the bravery to try and out. You should. Yeah. Well, that's the thing. I want to get good at, at Elden Ring because I'm good at building a character, right? I'm good at at that part of it. And because I'm good at that part, I can make the game not trivial, but quite a bit easier. I can beat the game. I can beat the game easily. Um, but I end up making a character that's so strong. Okay, we got a combat rifle. It looks like we have the advanced loot lock down on the first try, by the way, which is kind of crazy. So we load this one. Quick save right as we get in. Save all that's in the black. I think that's good. Hopefully. Um, RL1 is a rune level 1 where you play the game without leveling at all. Yeah, so you have to be good at it. But yeah, I can just create a character that's like... I, I created the Blasphemous Blade Faith build that, that's too insane. Oh my god, how did that car not blow me up? Ah, Gage! Combat armor left leg. Well, I'm not gonna get a combat rifle. I can always get a two shot anyway, you know? So what's the point? I think the only sniper I would probably get is Goss Rifle. Junkies, probably Junkies Goss Rifle and then build around it. It's gonna take a while to build around it, but once it's set up, I should be able to come back here and one shot everything. Um, even if I can't get all the effects, I can get enough of them that hopefully it'll work out. Excellent. 
Are you kidding me? Wounding? Wounding is available. I'll be here. <sighs> Jerk game. Of course, it's not a combat rifle, not a combat shotgun, too. I just didn't have the patience. Yeah, it's it's crazy how good Blasphemous Blade is. It's not there you go. I can't use it. It's on a combat rifle. Wounding combat rifle is not good. Yeah. Uh, Junkie's Disciples Blade. The Cutlass is, is great. <laughs> it does some ridiculous damage. I was like one-shotting the highest death claws in the game. It always be that clean. What? Hello? Is he stuck in the tree? What? What the heck just happened? I can't mouse over him. Hello? Hello? All right, well, never mind. <sighs> Instigating six crank laser musket has the best one shot damage, but the fire rate is still slow. Yeah. Junkie's handmade. Okay, what? Oh, maybe I just blow it up. Good call. Okay, thank you. Relentless board. I'm getting relentlessly bored. I better hope that my quick save is in the right spot here. Might not be. Well, I think it's okay. It's not as uh, brutal as the indoor loot locking quick save. I think this one's a bit more forgiving, so I'm not that worried about it. Two shot laser muskets better. Body blocked me. God, what are you made of? Whoa! I'm playing this way. Knuckles! Saw Jim Duggan build. Yep. Come out with the two by four. But, um, Mod Hunter, I think it's okay on the, um, on the the laser musket because the two shot does actually double the cranks and since there's no mods that actually increase the damage other than increasing the number of cranks it's not the same as like a powerful receiver or whatever the base damage is still double so i think the two i think he is right i think two shot is better you get a junkie's hunting rifle So I think I think Ian's right. I think two shot laser musket is actually better. It's the only two shot weapon that's uh, actually doubles the damage regardless of how modded it is. modded it is. The more you know. I think I need like a button that I can press that does the more you know across the screen. That'd be cool. You know, I've been getting lucky and not seeing a lot of armor, actually, which is... There's a 50% chance it's armor, so I'm lucky that I haven't seen a lot.
If I get a natural unyielding drop, though, I might keep that. It's kind of funny this uh, loot lock is interesting because you can have legendary, like multiple legendaries here. You can also have a legendary enemy and apparently a legendary cave cricket, but the only one you can really loot lock consistently is the on this side. Oh, he's got a missile launcher. Okay, well, I know it's a missile launcher, so I probably don't want it. But I just want to double check and make sure. Yeah, <laughs> kneecapper missile launcher. That's pretty good for death claws. No, get the missile launcher. Yeah, the unmodded damage boost, though, it's not... The cranks don't mod it. The The mod... Oh, shoot, I, I hit... There. The mod only adds the ability to put more cranks, if that makes sense. It's not actually modifying the damage of the weapon. It's allowing you to crank one extra time. Yeah, I need to get my unyielding armor, too, but... Priority is a weapon right now. So each crank is still doing the base damage, even after you mod the weapon. Another toilet seat. No, Mango. Um, I... I think that goes against the idea of playing on very hard. I mean, because I could actually turn it down right now and it would still be the same because this legendary is already fixed in position. So I get what you mean because you want it very hard to get more legendary chance. But since I already locked this NPC into being legendary, I don't have to worry about that anymore. So I could just put it on very easy um, anyway, but I don't want to. Switchblade. Switchblade, Jay White. Lever action, okay. There's one major problem with the lever action. <laughs> well, first of all, the lever action actually kind of sucks because uh, the reload animation is messed up. But the other problem is that I have to go to Far Harbor to get the ammo. Laser Musket does crank times base, yes. I mean, I can't say 100% that I'm correct, but this is what I've heard. I haven't tested it personally. I've heard that two shot on Laser Musket does do double the damage, no matter how many cranks it is. So I'd have to see evidence either way to say for certain, but... Ooh. Unyielding, but it's the most garbage unyielding uh, thing. I mean, I think when I'm farming unyielding, I want to actually get good armor, so I'm not going to keep that. But it's good to know unyielding's on the table. Good night, Donna. Take care. It was like the lowest armor base pretty much possible. <laughs> if it was like unyielding disciples metal thing, I'd probably take it. Oh. 
Jesus, you're still not dead. Come on, dude. Um, unyielding, I think, we might go, but, the in oh, the invincible armor's good, yeah, you're right, so what I need is a metal arm, right? I need a metal arm that I can put ballistic stuff on. Isn't that what it was? It was a metal arm that you can put one of the ballistic things on and then you can put the you can put the other ballistic thing on any chest piece and then you don't blow yourself up unless you're using the explosive minigun which will still kill you that's a good call yeah i don't know if the disciples metal or any of those other ones allow it i think it's only the normal uh metal Padded and dense, yes. Dense on the arm and padded on the chest. I believe was the way to go. Yep, yep, yep. Thanks for reminding me. Instigating's on the table. Very interesting. Oh, so I could hold off on um, could hold off on junkies and just get an instigating goss for now, but uh, I guess it doesn't matter. How many junkies effects do I need in order for it to do more damage than instigating? I guess how much does each? I think it's. 13 total effects, and they each do 25% damage or something, so you get a total of like 325. So essentially, if I have four withdrawal effects, it's the same as instigating, but on every shot, right? It's really not that hard to get four withdrawal effects. But yeah, adamantium skeleton. That's right, that's the other part of it. Yeah, once I get a weapon that I can one-shot these guys with consistently, it's going to make farming a lot faster. So we're going to struggle for now. Could go to national... Well, I don't even know if that's faster. Let's 
See, this is a better, better one. I don't know if it's sturdy or highest one, but it's interesting. The graphic looks the same. It only calls it leather, but this is the upgraded version of it. You have to look here, I think, to see, and the weight as well will tell you. Yeah, I have a good loot lock here. Yep. One of those Nuka Cola drinks, then times two on top of your. Which Nuka Cola drink? I am. I'm probably going for a Goss rifle. I think a Goss rifle is gonna serve me best. Although I, I'm not 100% sure I'm at a high. Oh, he's got a missile launcher. Yeah, missile launcher. You know what? I, he might actually hold a Goss rifle when he has one, right? Like, we could actually see it on his person. They don't always switch, though. I get, it might depend on the weapon, but I think it's the base damage of the weapon that decides if they switch to it, right? So I feel like they would switch to a Gauss rifle if they had one. It'd be nice to actually be picky about which one I use. Um, it, it obviously would take a lot longer, but... So... I don't know for 100% that it's safe to just reset every time until I see him take out a Goss rifle, though. He's got a board with saws on it. Assassin's combat armor chest piece. If I get a really good armor piece, though, then I'll go ahead and roll the unyielding on it right now. So it's it's not I'm not 100% fixed on Goss rifle right this second. If I get something in game, I'll take it. Oh, uh, maybe. He's holding a weapon now. Oh no, that's not hurt. Where are you? It's over here. Okay, he's holding the normal thing. I just wanted to see if it was the highest tier one. Uh, is this also going to prevent me from getting a Goss rifle, guys? Hold on, do it. Can I get awareness? Which one shows me the level of the enemy? Not Vans. Awareness. Let me see here. 39. Okay, we're okay. Okay, I'm okay. The legendary is 39. I think I think we're fine. The the enemy's thirty nine. Although did I have an issue where I wasn't getting drops because my level was too low compared to that? Am I screwed here? Might be right. Cause I remember I was farming a trying to farm an explosive minigun. And I remember having issues with oh my god. I remember having issues with it. I remember the enemy level was high enough, but my level wasn't high enough. I didn't get one. Although I feel like I'd be seeing lower level things. Did I see a 10 millimeter? That might be a low level. I think I saw a 10 millimeter. 
I'm a little bit concerned. There's a 10 millimeter. Okay. Maybe I should be concerned because I don't think I see a lot of 10 millimeters when I'm high level. Um, I should get something here. Maybe I'll have to settle for something else for now. Two shot combat rifle. Can't get a two shot combat rifle anywhere else, right? Oh, what's gonna give me the best chance to one shot? Oh no, I got a fat man. I don't think that's a low level drop. Okay, we got another unyielding. Not a great one, though. I think the only unyielding that I would take that wouldn't be high level would be a metal right arm, metal left arm. No, things do drop off. 100% things do. You, you'll never see a... a, a a laser musket, and you'll never see a, uh, uh, not combat shotgun, but the other shotgun, double barrel shotgun, got the rocket or missile launcher again, instigating, come on, instigating missile launcher. Maybe an instigating missile launcher would get one shot. A crippling missile launcher. That's why when I was um, doing like low level farming, I was trying to get the never ending double barrel when I had a low level enemy because you can't get it here. Once enemies are beyond a certain level, you'll never see it. Although I haven't seen any, like, true low-level stuff, but I'm kind of in an intermediate level. I haven't seen sprinters yet. That's the only thing about unyielding that I don't like is I really like sprinters and I really like endurance. So I, you, you aren't as fast and then, you know, speed helps you with everything. So I, I like getting triple sprinters or quadruple sprinters. Actually, I think you can get it on an arm as well, the Marine arm. So you can get a hat arm and both legs with sprinters and then you get the rest with endurance and then you're just sprinting forever pretty much. Oh really? So it's not great? Oh my god, they turned quickly on me. You guys turn quickly. This might have been a mistake to come to Nuka World this early, guys. The problem is, the thing that threw me for a loop and messed me up is that I did a farm and got the explosive, uh, got the ex explosive weapon that I'm using, spray and pray. And so it kind of prevents me from really doing a gunner farm right now because I really need explosive minigun to do a good gunner farm. So I need to at least be able to cycle. He's holding a weapon. Okay, that's not you. You're over here. Oh, he's holding... He's got the... <laughs> I don't think this drops on low levels. The Far Harbor weapon. I also don't think lever action drops on low levels either, so I think I'm okay. He's got the pull hook from uh, Far Harbor, right? Very funny. 
So I think we might see him switch weapons to Goss Rifle, which means I could try to speed this up. And just load in, like watch him, see if he switches. Because I think the base damage on Goss Rifle is so high that he would switch. I'm going to take a chance. I'm going to do it. I'm just going to watch him run up and see what he does and then leave. But if you buy legendary, it affects the loot pool or do you get generic version of spray and pray as a drop? I got a generic version as a drop Tristan in the first playthrough. I went to when I went to Concord to rescue them. I just went down in the sewer and did a loot lock just for fun. And uh yeah, it didn't quite work out. Now this is a question. Oh, pick pickpocket, please. Why can't I pickpocket you? Well, let me, because I was gonna see if maybe you'd have the ammo on him, but I pickpocket. All right, screw it. Onyx, what's up? You made it. Yeah, I picked it up in Concord. Got an explosive double barrel, congrats. That's a really fun weapon. That's a doom weapon. That's like, that's a great weapon. Mango, I don't know for sure. I don't, I think you can probably just sleep over and over, but actually it seemed like sometimes I was getting them when I was just hanging out in settlements. So I, I don't know for certain. Get out of my way, Gage, you turd. Trying to get all level four merchants. Good luck. Hellwalker. Oh my god, Hellwalker is such a good weapon. Yeah, Borderlands 3, I had a Hellwalker. I had a bunch of them. Yep, I went to Nuka World early because I I think I screwed up my uh, my ability to get an explosive weapon, so I can't do the gunner farm yet. So I decided to. I also just felt like it might be a fun challenge. Uh, it wasn't really a challenge though. I died a couple times in the gauntlet, but actual Coulter fight was a joke. You know what I should do actually. Now that I think about it. Oh, he's got a missile launcher. Okay, so it takes him a second to switch. I guess I need to take that into account too. I could take, uh, if I put Psycho on my bar, I could take it and then I'd do more damage. Jet Psycho and just go crazy. I'd have to do it. I'd have to restart this whole save though, because I mean, go back to the previous save because uh, I don't have time to set it up. Oh, he's got a minigun. Oh, there's no way explosive is available. Oh no, the radiated minigun. Oh no, oh no. Did I try to get a wounding minigun? No! So sad. Minigun so rare. Rapid Gatling laser. No! Makes me so sad. Didn't take it out though, so. Oh, there he did, okay. Oh my god. <sighs> I mean, a wounding minigun might be okay for now. I might be able to actually kill them fast enough. The big issue is stealth, though. Killing them from stealth will prevent them from aggroing. And this is a bummer, guys. 
Why did I have to waste the explosive on this weapon? Points of irradiation damage is kind of interesting, though, right? <laughs> Wounding would be, I think, totally fine. Especially, well, I have some perks in explosive already, but wounding would... And this is a bummer. There's no bleed resistance in Fallout, that's true. Bleed in Fallout, much like in uh, Elden Ring, is overpowered. Incendiary. What uh what legendary does this imitate? Uh this stream's been going for two hours today. All I did was come to Far Harbor, do the first quest of Far Harbor to get the problem solver, and then start this loot locking. Yay, Ashmaker! Yeah, it's, it is worthless, though. I don't know why, I really like quizzing the uh, chat. I think it's the teacher in me. <laughs> now class. If I can't get explosive, what other prefix should I get? Bingo. Plasma's okay. It's a decent you do already get one. Dual scavenger, cert curved swords with seppuku and occult affinity. You know what I'm using on my uh, playthrough, my RL1 playthrough? I mean, I haven't gotten far enough to get... That's why I want to kill Radon, is so I can go underground and get the occult affinity. Uh, the, the occult, or the, the, the wet blade that I can put a cult with. But uh, I'm using dual bandit curved swords. Uh, but I have to use, I had to duplicate the Ash of War, and I'm just using Bloody Slash on both of them, because I can't get any other bleedy Ashes of War. It's plenty of damage on Radon, but I just don't know, I can't figure out his attacks and get killed, like, one, one shot, basically. Another Incendiary. I'm just hoping that maybe just some miracle we're going to get explosive, like we just haven't seen it yet somehow. Opium. Is that only a, is that a thing on Twitch? Have you guys heard that before? Copium? I'm getting high on copium. I only heard it in like Path of Exile chat. Oh my god! <laughs> I'm not gonna use junkies on a minigun, guys. It's not enough damage. It's it's still much more damage to do wounding or you know something with fixed damage on each round than than just increasing the amount per bullet. Unfortunately, yeah, it doesn't stack. I think a wounding is correct, uh, Marlis. It's funny, last time I followed your playthrough, I got expl both explosive minigun and combat shotgun. Thanks for the tips on loot. You're welcome, Onyx. I think, yeah, loot locking is a very important idea. Uh, the bandit swords weren't that bad to farm. It took me under an hour to get both of them. Um, Mog Spear is insane with arcane and stupidly unbalanced in PvE. 
Yeah. I haven't tried that one, but I've seen people using it. It's just you run into something that doesn't bleed and it just kind of ruins everything. Hey, we got another one that's a, uh, isn't this one that's, maybe not. I was thinking, isn't there a legendary version of that as well? Maybe not. No, I don't think so. I think I've just, I just like that one. Yeah, we've seen it already. We know it's available. Yep. Wounding will stack very nicely. Crippling Flamer, yeah, which, what's the Crippling Flamer? I can't believe we saw Minigun before Goss Rifle. Nocturnal. Yes. Sergeant Ash, that's right. Freezing is okay, yeah. Penetrating Fat Man. Ron Jeremy? By the way, um, how's the stream looking today? Like, as far as the pixelations and tearing and stuff, it's been looking better. Uh, where'd you go? Knock back here. Where'd you go? You're still alive, I would expect to hear the minigun going off. Legendary Cape Cricket. Uh, this one's fixed with a Fat Man, by the way. So make sure before whatever I do to finish here, I get whatever Fat Man that is, because it seems like it's locked in. Where the heck did it go? She just disappeared off the planet again. Sucks. Oh, there it is. I see the minigun. Way the heck out here. You broke your glasses. That's not good. Which part broke? Oh no, the scavenger picked it up. Oh my god, the scavenger picked it. I think, I bet it's crippling. It's gotta be crippling. No, it's kneecapper. <laughs> Instantly kneecapped by this jerk. Uh, up and down, mostly speed explosion issues. Okay. Crystal clear. Good. I'm, I'm glad it's better. I upped the frame rate a lot, or the bit rate a lot, so it should be able to take care of it. Donald Trump. He looked good in his mugshot. Kind of gave, like, the brooding stare in his mugshot. Sort of that, like, look down, tilt your head down and look up at the thing. Like, I am not pleased with this, but I am staying strong. I bet he practiced. Do you think he practiced in the mirror? I didn't 
Come here for a political stream. I'm out. Okay. I, next I have to figure out what the heck's wrong with chat, like as far as showing on the screen like it's supposed to, and showing in Streamlabs, it's like super delayed, and it starts just freezing up as well. Not getting loading yet. Oh, okay. You broke the lens too. That's hard. I've never broken a lens. I broke the frames a lot when I wore glasses. Uh, usually the, the biggest point of failure for me was either the nose pad or like the frame right by that, that screw where it attaches to the, the eye part. Those were the two biggest points of failure for me when I had glasses. Sometimes the screw would just come out and I'd lose the screw, so I'd have to put like a paper clip in there to hold it together. Hell yeah. Okay, well that's good. Very refresh chat. Whoa, look at the screen. What the heck just happened there? move out before I start puking? I guess because he was in radiation, probably. Wrong way. back on junk food and squats. Junk food squats? Junk food. On the junk food and what, what is the, the squats are affecting you? Buttocks were too strong and broke your glasses? Who's there? Oh, that is a shame. Yeah, I would love to test out a two-shot musket. Bingo, okay. Buns of steel. Perfect. Perfect? I don't say perfect. I say perfect. Dingus. Uh, yeah, I mean, obviously, I, I think that one you have to bug into the game, but um, I've seen videos of it, and yeah, you can crank it a thousand times. And it does add up the damage. It'll one-shot anything. Oh my god, I made them mad so quickly. Dead. Well, I don't think it's wounding was wounding, I would have been dead a long time ago. Uh, Onyx, yeah, it does. You, you can crank and crank. You can crank it a thousand. You can use all your ammo in a single crank if you want. I feel like I need to stop saying crank it on my stream. Ah, I already made him mad again. Oh my god, that might have been. Jeez, I died quickly on that one. Hope that wasn't wounding. I'm competing against a lot of obstacles here. I need to be able to kill them without aggroing them. The weapon that is not that strong.
Say what I want is my stream. Okay, well, I don't want to say crank it on my stream anymore. I am not going to say crank it on my stream a single time from now on. There will never be a single instance where the utterance of the two words crank it will come out of my mouth consecutively in that order. And if you catch me, hey, time to crank it. We got wounding minigun. Whoops, jeez, I broke my thing already. Welcome back. Oh yeah, the cricket. Thank you. Get wireless, come on out. Scavenger said, Nyar! Where do they come from? Out here? And I don't have to worry about blowing myself up with this, so that's another benefit. Oh! Can't platform over. Good thing the cricket can't use it, huh? Uh, that's not very good damage. Let me F5 before I die here. Oh, you know what? It, it just took a while for it to... Oh my god, I'm gonna die. I died! I thought it was gonna happen. Oh, good job, bro. Oh my god, don't kill me, please. I need some help! Okay, he's throwing it at the crickets. I am going to be honest, I'm still very concerned about this damage. I don't have any points in Gunner or anything. Although if most of the damage is coming from wounding, it shouldn't matter. Where did the other Cricket go? Uh oh, I didn't lose the other Cricket, did I? Uh oh, where's my fat man? Run away? God. I lost it. Where'd you go, Cricket? This is weird. I'm having issues with corpses just disappearing. by the wall where the other one was. One. It. I don't see it. If, yeah, it might have clipped through the wall. Okay, well, no fat man. Whatever. Don't care. All right, well, let's see how this does, if I use it to farm again. At least we got something. Sort of trying to think of what to do next. If let's say I, if I want a Goss rifle, I need to get to level thirty. I don't think that's the case, but it might be. And if it is, do I just do cycles here until I get to thirty? I don't think I'm getting as much experience as I expected from this. But I do need to get to level thirty. Um, if I do cycles, I can probably get explosive back at least. 
I've been at this for an hour 15, yeah. I know, I mean, that's... It, I'm gonna be loot locking for a long time. Who were they fighting? Oh my god! <laughs> um, you need 20 for Doc Anderson. I think she's the higher of the two. That's a scary thing to turn around to. Got no legendaries on this side. We might have some on the gunner side. Yeah, they're so accurate. You can see the wounding going off there. At least I'm gonna get experience for these. Just by tagging them. Because a wounding, it's gonna give me a lot of damage on him. Hopefully enough to get. Need to buy a lot of more ammo though. Or these operators suck, huh? The military fatigue is good. How much experience did I get from that? I got 23. Did I get two levels since I've been here? I think so. I guess this isn't too bad experience farming. There were no legendaries here. Twenty for Doc Anderson, thirty for Smiling Larry. So that's why the way I do it is I get twenty settlers and then I go get Doc Anderson and Ron Staples. I think Ron only needs ten, and then thirty I go get the Scribe and uh, Smiling Larry. All right, let's see how we do against this guy. that bleed oh my god bleed jesus bleed <laughs> the bleed was good it just took a little longer than i hoped maybe we'll get some lucky stuff here as well all right I think I should take out the behemoth and then probably go buy some more five millimeter rounds. Actually, I don't, if I remember right, Smiling Larry doesn't sell a good amount of five millimeter rounds. So I might not be able to use this as my just go-to weapon. Whoa! Why'd the behemoth go down so easily? That's what I was expecting from everything. Ooh, suppressed. Oh, my God. Can't run. Too much crap. All right, let's go. I need the nearest fast travel. I, I don't think there's a great one here. Yeah, that was pretty fast. Oh, 
Oh, let's keep doing some cycles, try to hopefully get explosive back on the table. So the the wounding had the sneak attack on it. I'm not gonna bother loot locking this one, I'm just gonna be doing a cycle to try to get some levels. What's up, Chimmy Ninja? Been a while. Been a while. We had some fun on the last perfect playthrough. No legendaries on our side. There's a. Was that a legendary? Yeah, there's a legendary butcher. Ooh. Well, I got experience for that. Whatever. Minigun! I need that! I need that ammo! Ah, uh, run away! Oh, Porter, don't do that to me. Go. I get, oh my god, that's terrible. I should use the ammo duping thing. I forgot how to do it now. <laughs> 60 rounds. That's trash, dude. Why would you give me... Oh, my God. Awful. Got super into survival. Ooh. Sounds interesting. I'm not really leveling super fast, but I just need to cycle legendaries anyway, so it's okay. This is a tedious process, this part. I mean, is it would it be more enjoyable to watch me build an entire gunner farm? I don't know. I've done it at least two times. Like, good gunner farms. I've built bad gunner farms probably 10 or 15 times. I finally optimized it. The last gunner farm was epic, like 130 cages. Absolutely epic. I thought that if you're wielding a weapon, you're more likely to get that ammo. I guess that's just in chests and stuff. This is not explosive minigun, this is wounding Ender Army. Unfortunately, explosive wasn't on the table, so I just got wounding. But wounding still gets the job done. Not as good as explosive, but it gets the job done-ish. I guess you go, oh my god, they saw me already? That Dormark pirate? Do pirates live there? I didn't think I touched him. That that one did. I mean what mods are really gonna help this gun that much?
I'll need a scar. Be something to shoot. So still haven't I haven't gotten any legendaries. Well, I got one. That's right. Okay, I got one. We cycled through one legendary so far. Got a death claw or nothing. We got a gazelle. Gazelle's one of the other random encounters. Yeah, I think I would. They're good. They got a skull on their head. Yeah, right now I'm looping around because uh, I need to reset the spawns. Or sorry, I need to get I need to get explosive back on the table. I should say. Then we'll be farming another minigun. Or I need to get to level 30, whichever comes first. And then I can farm a two-shot Goss Rifle or something better. We have a guinea pig named Onyx. Nice! I have a... Uh, give up and go farming somewhere else farming gunners. I don't think I can make a gunner farm right now. It would be very ugly. Maybe I'll see a Goss rifle. Cry. One legendary guy here. See how fast if I want to just kill a legendary. Here. Sneak up on him. I get a headshot on him. That is not very easy, guys. Okay. Gunner prison. Gunner Sanctuary, I prefer to say. I'm not downloading any mods. I'm not duping. I'm not using console commands. These, uh, this is actually kind of worthless then. These scavengers don't get a lot of experience, I don't think. Let me switch back to uh, Spray Your Prey for now. I don't think these guys are worth much. Scavenger running away? Okay. Yeah, they give eight. Um, so the good thing is even though... Uh, even though I don't kill the enemy, I believe that just having the item spawn on them counts towards cycling through. So you can literally... I could just run circles, you know, and eventually it would be there. A legit playthrough. I mean, legit ish. I'm Batman. I watched, I don't know, it popped up on YouTube. It was a clip of Christian Bale talking about the Joker. And he was saying how, like, the issue they had with Batman in previous movies was that the, the villains ended up being more interesting than Batman. So he said, I didn't want that to happen, but then when we saw Heath Ledger playing the Joker, we were just like, okay, well, we're screwed. I'm going the wrong way, sir. I mean, it's nice. It's a really nice mod. It's a well-designed mod. I've used it before. It makes sense to me. Being able to strip legendary things off just like any other mod and then put it onto another one is very nice. And I think you can do it in, uh, we've got operators, so we got gunners up here. It's 
Legendary gunner. Love that bug where their name disappears. That was a solid one. Quick draw knuckles. That's actually interesting because I think knuckles don't use a lot of uh, a lot of action points anyway. So that would be it'd end up being like a melee version of. Uh, Railroad weapon that I can't remember the name of, the 10 millimeter. Its own special graphic. Why am I forgetting the name of everything? We got another random encounter, which is a pack ramen going crazy. Blood worms. Yeah, Fallout 76, you can actually go and choose the mods you want to put onto things. and uh, They have one star and two star and three star mods. And you can put multiple mods on an item. It's, it's pretty bonkers. Hard saves every now and again in case something screws up. Oh, we got super mutants. I think they give the best experience. Disciples are nuts, man. They go after the super mutants. They're a minigun. Hey, we got to level 24. We got a little, few more rounds, too. Oh my god, he picked it up. Does that mean he has ammo? You got ammo, bro? I bet he has ammo now. Yeah, 500! I didn't make anyone mad. What is the pack still doing here? And this legendary pack's just chilling here. Wow. That was the one from earlier. Oh my god, I got too much stuff. Okay, here. Take some stuff. Hey. What's up, boss? More than happy to hold all the expensive stuff. Pick up the minigun too. Oh yeah, that's right, the minigun holds a clip, doesn't it?
So Starfield's pre-order bonuses be exclusive. I don't know what that means. What do you mean exclusive? Hey, we got a lot of ammo now. I always forget that you can pick up a weapon and get the ammo from it. Uh, I think you'd probably still be able to buy them. I think the only thing that's exclusive is the early access, because you can't get that back, right? But I don't think so. Okay, well, I, I didn't listen, okay? Big dumb jerk. Idiot streamer. <laughs> yeah. If you pick, if they pick it up, you get 500 more. Well, we might be able to sustain this if we keep getting super mutant encounters. I'm just teasing. Uh, I, uh, yeah, it's okay. Yeah, you see how as I got closer that sort of spawned in, that means that's when the actual thing happened. So it is possible to loot lock, but the other side's a lot nicer. This is worthless. There's no legendary pack. And we got a bunch of terrible scavengers. Okay. Well, a whole lot of nothing. Isn't it crazy the pack like pick on scavengers? The disciples go after freaking super mutants and then the, the operators are like, okay, we'll go after gunners. I guess operators and gunners are kind of similar in their aspirations, right? They, they try to get... Give me the loot. What is going on? We got... Another random encounter with Bromeluff. Let's see how we do. It'll work. Only 10 experience each. That was horrible. Okay, that was a waste of ammo. Don't let me kill those guys again. Yeah, exactly. Gunners and... Uh, Operators are after the caps. I don't know why disciples. They're all extra wavy. Why are the disciples after super mutants? And why are the pack? I, I would almost think the disciples would be after the scavengers, and the uh, the pack would be after super mutants because the pack like you know combat. Strong combat, like gladiator stuff, and the disciples would much just prefer bloodshed, and they don't care if the enemy's strong or not. Okay. I guess the pack are like alpha, you know. They, they want to be alphas, so they would like, you know, other things to be betas. Beta cucks. Scavengers are beta cucks. I guess you start pumping strength up now to try to get to heavy gunner. Use it on something and now I can carry more as well. Seen the experience mode. There we go. Kind 
of forced me to run up to him because he threw a grenade behind me. Yeah, I can do that too, you jerk. Butt stroke to the face. Okay. Uh, this minigun doesn't have ammo, right? No. It's the same one from before. Pick up the minigun, operator. Oh, I think you're supposed to put the the ammo somewhere, right? <laughs> Muzzled 50 cal sniper rifle. Okay, that's not bad. I'm not getting a lot of legendaries right now. This is very tedious. Much more tedious. Than Strong back, yeah, of course. NPCs get a fresh 500. But I think in order for the NPC to pick it up, you have to have ammo in the area as well. I mean, you'd think I'd know because I made a video about it, but I forgot already. I tested a lot of different stuff to make it work. I forget how far this actually is. This is quite a run. Legendary super huge, super huge butcher. Got minigun. Disciples. Oh my god! He's better with the minigun than me. Kind of giving underwhelming amounts of experience, by the way. Wait, did he kill everything? Oh my god, he killed me. But didn't even look at my health. Oh my goodness, he's got some kind of laser thing that's quite strong. Okay, we cycled another prefix, that's good. I don't know if that... Well, Nocturnal is on everything, so I guess it's cycling. Okay. Doesn't look 
Looks like we got another full clip there, though. How do we do on experience? Not a lot. I kind of feel like... If I want experience, I should just go through one of the things here, right? But... You get a ton of enemies there. It's any of them. Especially, like, the... Duke Galaxy just gives a ton of experience. Something is going on with this spawn over here. Oh, bodies are back, so that's good, but no Death Claw. Make some more shelves. What's up, Nate? You didn't miss a lot. Oh, this is like Feral Ghouls and Operators. Okay, that's another random encounter. I think that they can spawn Legendary as well. Didn't miss a whole lot. I got a wounding minigun. I don't know if you saw that, but... Now we're trying to sort of level, but also cycle legendary prefixes. Did some bench. You did some tricep pulldowns. Did any skull crushers. Did some close hand push-ups. Oh, I didn't even see... Caps, I guess I left it. It's some chest flies, peck flies. Some incline, some decline, shoulder press. I'm just gonna do a save here in case I happen to see explosive. Oh, mountain climbers, okay. Military stuff. Mountain climbers are tough. Yeah, I haven't done mountain climbers since the military. That pack. No legendary. Garbage, garbage, garbage. Let's get out of here. Can't do anything. Eight count bodybuilders. I don't know that one. It's some Kegels. That's not just like the crazy like, do a push up for eight full seconds thing, is it? Yups. Now I feel like a failure because Nate did a workout. He actually exercised and I just been. Oh, I could have done the same thing as him. I could have said, okay, I'm closing the stream down. I don't need to run in loops here in Nuka World like an idiot. I can just go exercise instead. I have a standing desk. Definitely should use my standing desk more. Did I run past it? I did. Oh my gosh. Zone and out. What do we got? Super mutants. Yeah, if I stay target locked on him a little bit, it, it does kill him. I just kind of back off. Oh my gosh, too quickly because I'm trying to conserve ammo too much. But I should just let her rip to get rid of these. Oh my god. At least get rid of these guys so they don't kill me. OK, 
Okay, we got a legendary disciple. Okay. So when you pick it up, it doesn't pick up a full clip, it looks like. It, ju it just picks up the same amount doubled, like whatever was there, I think it adds to it. That makes sense. Uh, no, Dan, it doesn't make sense, you idiot. Drop and give me 10, soldier. Drop Mintats? Oh, take some Mintats? Oh, whatever. Go build some shelves. Same encounter as before. Let's see if it's the same loot. It is the same loot as before. Oh man. You mean the bottle four bottle caps on the feral ghoul that I missed? EXP. Uh, hold on to Mintads. It's not going to make that much of a difference. Let's see. Status. Okay. So what I'm thinking I'm going to do is maybe go do some shelving or something for a little bit. I just want to get to 30 and make sure that I can get a Goss Rifle because problem I'm having right now is I can't do what I want to do, which will actually make experience a lot faster. Because if I can just kill them all and not worry about aggroing them, then I'm set, you know? So I'm not sure what to do as the fastest experience at this point. I could do caltrops because I have a ton of steel right now. Where is, let me, I gotta find my original video. Oh, nope, I don't wanna do that. Uh, my original video has links which include level stuff, so. I just want to check and make sure it's level 30. If it's level 25, we could be here quicker. Uh, videos, all the way back to the beginning of time. Three years ago, 62,000 views. Uh, comprehensive farming guide, legendary prefix restrictions, or comprehensive farming guide. Gosh. I is searching for text on Reddit such garbage. Okay, above level 20, it says, oh, Goss Rifle says level 35 here, ugh. That can't be true, though, is it? Gatling Laser level 37. Is that true? I don't have anything to tweak the minigun with. I'm not gonna hit much harder. I don't even, I don't have any perks for tweaking it anyway. I'd have to buy a minigun that's already tweaked. All right. My back hurt. Hey. Hurt. What's up, boss? More than happy to hold all hey. the expensive stuff. <laughs> and Skyrim has multiplayer? Is it a mod or something?
spit in the cooler. And I don't know what I'm doing. The mod end is better than Fallout. Okay. Fallout 76. Oh my goodness. So what are my main my main issues right now are I need levels to farm a Gauss rifle. I need an explosive minigun to farm levels. And I need a Gauss rifle to farm legendaries to get an explosive minigun. So that's that's the current issue. Have I done my cooking yet? I think, how do we do this? I know. But what am I going to cook? I guess you mean for experience? Like vegetable starch and stuff? Not going to give me pot, right? Seems to be growing well. I think shelves is going to take too long. Is what level we're at now? And with caltrops, caltrops aren't going to be as bad though, because uh, they use more materials. I have a lot of potatoes, jeez. Put a bowler on Codsworth, life is good. Oh yeah, this is not going to be a lot. <laughs> nope, not a lot. Or stuff. How many? Words. How many? Uh, poison caltrops can I make? I can make a thousand of them. How much experience do I get per each? Four. So I can get 4,000 experience. A little bit more if I sleep my intelligence gear on and I use a uh, proper mintats. Do I have the materials to make the actually good mintats? So let's see, utility, no. Chemistry station. Frog. Need berry mintet, so I need tar berry. Do I have tar berry sitting around in my here? Did I get any tar berry from vendors? I don't think so. Nope, I got no tar berry. Okay, whatever, that's fine. So I'm gonna rest, I'm gonna put my thing on, and let's see where we get crafting a thousand. Uh, Ushanka hat, well, tech lab coat. Human toilet build. Oh my goodness. 
<laughs> uh, I found a picture of it. I don't know how I ended up stumbling on it, but what it was like a, like a gimp costume with a toilet seat around the head of it. It was very disturbing. Okay, we're well rested. We are intelligent ish. Get off my chemistry station. I can't remember the last time I had clean fingernails. I don't want to go there. <laughs> time for HK script. Let's see, download. Button masher. It does look ridiculous, and I don't know why Ushanka hat gives intelligence. Because anytime I see someone wearing a hat like that, I it does not scream intelligence. screams Canada eh? and Canada definitely does not scream intelligence shots fired all right so we got one level and we've gone through over a thousand I don't think we're gonna get to 35 doing this I don't even think we're gonna get to 30 doing this to be honest screams flasher screams I have a trench coat I think at my aunt and uncle's house they uh had a light switch that had a flasher on it, like opening up his jacket. And the actual light switch was a certain part of his anatomy. I was a little kid and I was traumatized by that. What are you laughing about, you hoser? Weird how inconsistent this is, right? It starts freaking out. Why caltrops? Caltrops, uh, they're worth money. It doesn't really matter what you build as far as experience. It just... Just as long as you build something. I mean, uh, something that costs more materials would level me up faster. Caltrops equals caps. So we've gone through half of it, over half, and I got a total of one level out of it, uh, almost two levels out of it. This will put me at 27. Oh my gosh, I feel like I just need to go somewhere and farm levels, but I don't really know where. I don't know how to get levels without a gunner. Yeah, exactly. Maybe I should start building a gunner farm. Even if I can't use it, that way I'll get levels at least, right? And I could probably kill off some, at least. Maybe a small farm worth. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, we got another level. Smile 
Smiling Larry's got what you want. Let's trade. You're smiling Larry. Yeah, he just he sells more 45 round than 5 millimeter round, which is crazy to me. Look at that, 20,000 caps worth there. Not many doctors around these days. Right. Could use some support. All right. So I have 13,000 caps. I can build a decent amount of gunner cages. All right, let's do it. Let's go start building gunner cages, I guess. And, you know, even if I can kill some of them, I'm okay. So we got a journey ahead of us. <laughs> I'm going to be running all the way across the map. Everything. I was selling. Hi. Looking to buy? Uh, Kyle, I didn't get a lot. I only got a wounding, uh, wounding minigun, unfortunately, because explosive wasn't on the table. It's not doing enough damage for what I need it to do. So I have to get some levels, and then I could probably farm uh, instigating Goss rifle or a junkie's Goss rifle, and then I'll be able to do more damage and farm faster. So I'm going to go ahead and walk all the way over to Spectacle Island and start building a gunner farm. Hopefully the weapons I have are good enough to at least take on that area. I think they will be. All right, let's get to getting. All right. I think we're okay. Um, this will be fun. You guys ready to go on an adventure? <laughs> oh, Nate. Uh, I agree with that on double on the double barrel. So I'm going to give myself some little indicators here. I believe Vault 81 is somewhere over here, right? So I can 
at least touch Vault 81. And I also kind of want to go a safe-ish route. We can kind of play the game. I'm not really playing the game, though. Now, this will put us by Oberlin Station, which has another encounter that we can use if we have issues. Whoa. Um, there's an encounter you can use uh, if you're having trouble with the cabin encounter and the uh, behind the Concord encounter. There's another campfire encounter up here. Chat, guess the uh, encounter. What are we going to get? We're going to get the Great Sandwich Debate. I hope we get the Great Sandwich Debate. Oh, uh, we're not ending anything. I don't know. What are we getting, guys? Sandwich bros? Yeah, we need a lot of setup. We've got feral ghouls. <laughs> it's... I don't know. Setup's important. We got a Yao Guai up here. I mean, we're decently strong. It's just, you know, Nuka World is the end game, right? So I'm essentially taking on end game content, which is why I didn't feel great. But anything that I encounter, ooh, here is going to be okay. Ish. We don't have our perks set up well, but that's just because. I've had to invest so many levels and stuff for building up the settlements, so it is what it is. Should be a Yao Guai up here. Stunted Yao Guai, not the full grown one we took out earlier. I mean look, we're fine. Just yeeted him way over there. Is there a girl cricket here? Cricket's here. Hey, I have a spray and pray. You have a spray and pray. Hey, okay. where's the next place we want to go? So Spectacle Island is over here. Um, I can uh, just run down here. That's fine. Well, the more you learn. I really need that animation. I just press a button and it'll play the more you learn thing. That'd be really cool, actually. If I can find the thing with like a pretty equal background, I can uh, use a chroma key to take the background off and then it could just fly across the screen and play the sound. That'd be pretty cool. Then I just press a hotkey to instigate it. SS2 playthrough. Real problems with chapter. What is SS2? I don't even know what game that is. I started blasting. I believe here has one of the Eddie Winter... <laughs> I almost said sex tapes. Eddie Winter sex tapes are here. Oh my god. Oh my god. Sim Settlements too. Oh. Uh, I mean, it would be fun to play Sim Settlements again.
Okay, next target. Let's go like we're kind of south of uh, the real scary stuff anyway, or or not scary stuff, but confusing terrain and stuff where you gotta like navigate through downtown or whatever. So I, th I think we're fine. Try to tag some of these on the way so it's faster. Heard something? Here. This one? I don't even think it is. It's an unmarked location. <laughs> These punks. I don't know if they wanted money or something more sexual, but a lucky thing I had my pieces. Yeah, I, ended, I did watch the whole scene. That that scene is so funny. He was just trying to advertise for the store, right? Like he's trying to help the store out because uh, he had some investment in there or something. Oh, I have a spoiler for you guys. It's probably not going to be finishing this playthrough because. <laughs> I think Starfield will be out before I get to the end of this. It's gonna be yet another. Oh, hey, look at where we are. I like this place. This is a really good place to farm. I at least want to mark it. Oh my. Well, maybe not. Please tell me I quick saved. Uh, Starfield is on Steam, yes. Please get okay. Good, I got the location. All right, we can get out of here. There, you. I don't know. It's play, man. It's okay. And <laughs> gotta finish it before Fallout Five releases. I think I got some time then. Oh, we got a behemoth. Even more dangerous than a behemoth, we've got bloat flies. I think the bloat flies are scarier than the behemoth. Uh, maybe not. I probably should have switched to wounding, actually. Oh, in the face. All right, we'll switch to wounding. better. Still hurt. Mini nuke. Whatever. It ain't no explosive minigun. If you ain't no explosive minigun, you ain't no friend of mine. Sure. 
Yeah, it'd be nice if there was some kind of bleed perk. But they'd have to do it for everything, you know, cryo, poison, all that stuff, so... I understand why it's not there. Hello, dudes man. You're on Twitch. So, uh, most of the chat's on YouTube, which is why uh, you, you're not seeing other people chatting. It looks like I'm talking to myself, but uh, yeah, you're there, dudes man. How's it going? Oh, we're in the scary part. Yeah, there's Baker. That's not ideal. I don't think I can take out Baker right now. Close enough. Yeah, I don't really want to deal with this whole area yet. Hey. You're seeing a black screen on Twitch too? I mean, when I watch it on Twitch, it's not black. It's on a black screen. I don't know what's going on. Can someone else who has access to Twitch check my... Uh, check to see if my stream is showing a black screen? really weird and very upsetting because I, I'm paying money to multi-stream, so. I got that complaint before, dudes, man. I'm not sure what's going on. But if you want to watch me and it's not working there, you can find me on YouTube as well under the Efficient Gamer. And uh, it's definitely working there. It's very weird and, and yeah, like I said, pretty upsetting because... Like, why are you paying for a service if it's not going to work at all? I mean, it would really explain why I'm not getting any interaction on Twitch. What's at the top of this boat? Uh, the Queen Mirelurk fight's gonna be interesting. Uh, thank you, Dudesman. That's nice of you to say. It's, it's blank on Twitch? Hold on. Is you're right. Why is it just a black screen on Twitch? Black screen on Twitch, but not on Streamlabs. First, get wired Wi-Fi. Okay, whatever. Run Streamlabs as administrator. None of these worked. If the stream still lags, I remember recommend... It's not lagging, though. That is really bizarre. Oh, my God. That's so annoying, guys. I'm gonna have to check on that because that's that's really annoying. But I appreciate you bringing that to my attention because that is not good. 
But yeah, if you're still here, dude's been up. Here's where I am. Send that link to Twitch. And I'm, I think I'm going around the wrong way here. Maybe it doesn't matter. Rad X time. Yeah, it's it's not a hot tub stream, so they said this is does not fit our platform. Very weird. No message oh, I wish I could keep moving while I'm looking into this stuff. Let me check uh What is this? This is new to me. I don't think I've ever gone this way. Exactly, Mod Hunter. Not enough titles for Twitch. That's how I read what you said. Okay, nothing cool here, whatever. I'm sure there's some weird lore thing that love. So interestingly, it says I'm both live and offline at the same time. Huh, let me try this. Weird. Okay. It seems like other people had similar issues. Yeah, so it says offline in the corner, even though it says live. That is so weird. Okay. All right, whatever. Yes, it's the undead stream. The uncola. I think I'm probably going to need the wounding minigun for uh, Queen Mirelurk. Don't grab the luck bobblehead up there. I looked the wrong way. Oh, she she's better at that than I am. That is so bizarre. Ah, you got me. Oh my gosh. Strong poison. Look at that. I can shoot through the little blowhole. That's good. Well, that worked. It wasn't pretty, but it worked. Now, this is interesting. Something I learned. If you shoot bullets, you know, in movies, people seem to go underwater and they basically become bulletproof, like the bullets can't hit them in the water. Is that based on fact or will bullets just go through the water and still kill you? It's 
crab on the menu, boys. It only works on big guns, so I'm not getting any benefit from that. Uh, the only real damage I'm doing with the minigun is because it's wounding. Oh, I have to rewire everything, right? Can't use this. No, I, I can't rewire everything. Why is the circuit breaker not functional? They're kind of terrifying when they just beeline towards you, huh? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. The Queen Meyer Lurk's got an item on her. Yeah, Mod Hunter's right. If you get in the water, you're within like six feet. Like if it's if it's within six feet, it can still hurt you. But after six feet, it'll just die. The bullet will just die. So pretty much you become bulletproof in the water. Unless it's like a, you know, the stronger the bullet, the further it'll go. If it's like a 50 cal bullet, it'll go further. Did I loot what I needed to? I didn't even look at what I looted, by the way. Half asleep. Yeah, I didn't... Whatever it was, I must have got it. And now I go up and flip the switch? Or I activate the... Workshop. Made a wall around Red Rocket. I think you run out of build space there pretty quickly, though, if you try to get too elaborate. What did I miss? I forgot what I'm supposed to do here. Oh, now I'm supposed to flip the switch inside this thing? Oh my god. Okay, so now the circuit breaker is activated. I think. Triangle of Death. I don't know the Triangle of Death. Uh, how efficient is the Gunner Farm? It is the fastest experience in the game by like a mile. Wait, what? Lights are on. Signal checklist. Make sure the wires and are all connected. The generators must be on before... What? I can't use the workshop. But I can't flip this. But the power's on here. What am I missing? Make sure the wires to the generator are all connected. I can't build anything, so how can I build the wires to the generator? The generator must be on before turning on the signal tower. I suggest you stay out of the water. I mean, the generators have to be on. These are all powered.
never had this issue before. Yeah, I turned it off. And I turned it on. This is weird though. Because I can't even see the thing animating. It's just staying up. But this is on, right? This is bugged out or something? Let me try fast traveling away and coming back. Or fast traveling spectacle. Let's see. Powered up. No, that's not power. I guess it's just a light. I'm barely breathing. I can't find you. I don't know who I'm kidding. Imagining you care. I might need a manufacturing plant just for five millimeter rounds because vendors don't sell a lot. sense. Does make sense, okay. Spectacle Island. Circuit breaker not working. What console? Yeah, I think this is bugged out. Kyo, did you end up getting water in your, uh, did you end up getting more purified water? Which Streamlabs OBS Twitch Offline Live. It might be my stream key or whatever. Where's my last, do I have another one? Is this before the fight? I think it is. Oh, it's after the fight, okay. Oh my god, it's like 15 minutes before. There's a switch on the boat, but I hit it. Maybe, okay, don't touch that until I touch this, but I already did touch this. Save, I think. 
Yeah, this is gonna set me back like 15 minutes. Yeah, this is this is the bug right here. You can see it. It's not flipping, you know, it's just turning on and off. All right. Oh, I think I probably have to call it today. It's getting late anyway, but I'm going to have to rerun to Spectacle Island and try to do things in the right order. That's upsetting. And also I need to figure out how to resolve this issue with uh, Twitch as well. Maybe it's a key. Okay, have a good night folks. Thanks for hanging out with me. I got a lot to work on. I'm glad I'm getting these issues resolved before uh, new game comes out. <laughs> Starfield. Anyway, have a good one.